Well, good morning, Mr. Trump. It's day 19 of the video message just sent out to you, and I see that you're lacking a little bit in the polls in Iowa. So let's see if we can have that sit-down meeting and talk to you for about 30 minutes and see if we can help you boost back up them polls. You gotta remember, Iowa's a farming community, and the last thing they want as a president is another Barack Obama. So this is going out to Mr. Kasich, the governor of Ohio, along with the rest of the presidential candidates and whoever will give us the time to sit down and talk about six very important items in the animal world. This first thing here goes out to Governor Casey. Let me introduce you to a plan that you're either part of or you got suckered into. Either one of those make you the least likely candidate to be a president of the United States of America. First up, I'm gonna show you either a plan that you're a part of or a plan that you got suckered into for Carol Baskin and Big Cat Rescue and the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries to profit $3 million within the next five years simply by passing that Ohio law of taking people's animals away from them. Over the next couple of seconds on the picture slides that we're gonna show you, you're gonna see that it has nothing to do with the care of animals or whether there's big cats in America and whether they belong here. It's really all about that profit margin that Carol Baskin and the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries can con people into believing that there's more big cats in America than there is in all the wild. This is the real reason this lady's out to get your animal. The main purpose of Big Cat Rescue's 25 year plan and the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries is their goal is in the next five years to increase revenue in the excess of a half a million dollars per year, doubling net assets from three million to six million over the next five years. None of this is about the animals. It's all about the profit and the bottom line. Their next goal is to target and expose zoos by making the general public believe that the animals are being kept in concrete prisons and being abused so the zoos will dump their big cats only into IE accredited sanctuaries by Big Cat Rescue. If you'll notice, throughout Carol Baskin's 25 year plan, everything is about increasing the number of tours, educational events, rentals, and to increase the fundraising. She even goes as far as to put in her 25 year plan to use free help to increase her tours and educational programs so she can increase the profit line instead of the expense line. She's running a tad bit behind, but by the year 2010, she had planned to hold accountability to registered protocols, the accountability and breeding by permit only and recommendation of her own feline tax and advisory group, disposable by permit only and substantiation of the necessity of even euthanization of big cats other than the need to draw in paying guests. Now at the end of her 25 year plan, you can see where this is all going to build a 10,000 square foot educational building and big cat museum of the cats that she is currently skinning and stuffing to put into her museum to rent out. In Carol Baskin's very own words, this should keep them busy for the next 10 years. As the cats in cages age and die, the need will gradually dissipate we can scale down as needed. Those who wish to continue can decide to branch out into other species using the experience and the knowledge that's based acquired over the past 20 years in her 25 year plan. Well, Carol Baskin at Big Cat Rescue does a pretty good job of exposing herself, trying to keep things from one website to the other. Just to show you how this was a plan already put into action, over a hundred of us have made calls to the Reynoldsburg facility to see if we could obtain some of the cats that came from Michael, Daniel, and Kenny. Nobody would re even return one of our calls, but Big Cow Rescue pulls in and takes them and starts raising money right away. Thousands of dollars in order to take care of these cats. And well, that pretty much proves that this was either a setup from day one, the lawmakers took a payoff, and this was a law before it ever became a law. We actually, Americans, have no choice in any of this. Meanwhile, Carol sits down there in Florida stealing your animals and raising money off of them, only to pad her own pocket and build her museum. Choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna sit around and take this, or you're gonna stand up and 
fight back for a change. One of the things that we're gonna make damn sure happen, Mr. Kasich, is that if somebody, whether it's you or the people that work at the Reynoldsburg facility, is held criminally responsible for the animal cruelty that's going on there in memory of Leo the lion. All we're asking for is a simple 30 minute sit down meeting to just show the rest of the Americans that you care about the Joe Blow general public and what's happening to our rights right here in America. You know, I asked you a simple question yesterday, and that is why can an 18 year old be shipped abroad, lose his life, lose his limbs, be shipped back to America to save America and have his rights simply taken away from him right here in America by not allowing him to have his own pet. Now, how can you consciously run a country and have people dying for the name of freedom and you have people like Kasich taking your rights away right here in America? Doesn't seem much like dying for, does it? Well, here's the same six questions I've been asking you for the last 18 days, and I'm going to keep it up for over 390 more days until one of us gets tired of doing this. You get tired of hearing me, or I get tired of saying it. And I can promise you, I'm not going to be the one to get tired. So here's the six questions we would like you to answer. Here in America, we have a war in the animal world and the animal rights people in order to take our rights away and 62.8 million people here in America own pets and we'd like to know your comments and your concerns about a few issues. Question number one, how do you feel about 501c3 organizations here in America that are scamming the public for hundreds of millions of dollars to take care of animals and none of it goes to the animals? 90% of it goes to lobbyists to pass laws to further their agenda. Two, it seems like terrorist is the number one topic anytime you turn the news on anymore. Are you aware that our own government, the United States Department of Agriculture, declared PETA a number one domestic terrorist in the United States on November the 30th, 2009, and they're still a nonprofit tax organization here in America? How can you be a terrorist and get a tax break from your own country right here in America? Three, we'd like to know your opinion on how you feel on online bullying, not only of children, but adults, in the name of free speech, in order to bash somebody and ruin their reputation and their good name, only to make money for yourself and get away with it under the Declaration of Free Speech. Four, we'd like to know how come us Americans that own our own property, own our own houses, and pay taxes on them do not have the right to have our own pets that we choose to have on our property or in our homes. Number five, do you not think that we Americans have the right to assume the risk of our profession no different than a cop, a firefighter, an oil rig worker, or anyone else that has the assumption of the risk of their professions? It is our right. And please, if you become president, give us back our right. And number six, one of the most important, and this kind of touched on your speech at the Oklahoma State Fair, about things being made in other countries and taxing them when they come into America. Do you not believe that it should be a right that any product made from the rainforest or an animal's habitat somewhere in, a, in the world should be taxed in order to be sold in America and that tax money go back to helping rebuild the habitat and the rainforest so some of these animals don't become extinct in the futures to come? I'm Joe Exotic and along with 62.8 million other people we'd like to know if you have any answers for any, any of this and you wouldn't believe the support you would get but this war on american citizens and their animals has got to come to a stop well mr trump ladies and gentlemen of america that's my video message for today it's your job and your responsibility to make sure everybody sees this video message in particularly and expose the bullshit it's going on down there in Tampa, Florida with Big Cat Rescue, the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries, and the state of Ohio setting an example to take your rights away because it's in writing off of her very own computer. Once she's done with cats, she's coming after your species next. I'm Joe Exotic, and I'll see you tomorrow for video message number 20.